This is a wonderful piece of pecan. I like this, I make a little tabletop out of it. But if you recall, I did a video on how to make a table go from a DIY look to a professional look. And one of the features in that video was an edge treatment. So today's video is all about experimenting type of edge treatments for this little tabletop. You may have recalled that this box build I made, I used a little beading bit to create this small bead on the bottom of the box, and as well as these feet, which has two beads on them for a total of three. And I like this feature, so I want to try that on this pecan table I'm going to build. So this beading bit that I got from Rockler, unfortunately not sponsored, is the trick to the trade. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to experiment with two features. I'm going to take this wood that looks like Wenge, and I'm going to create some beads on here for a sample to attach that on the bottom of the table to give it a little accent. And then in the second feature, I'm going to take this and actually make a bead on the bottom edge of the tabletop to see how it looks to decide which one I like better. Since this is an experiment, I don't want to cut my actual tabletop. So we have a stand-in sample piece of pecan cut from the same log, the same thickness. So I'm going to use it to create my edge design zone to see how I like it before I actually use my tabletop. Now I'm taking my uh, Wenge type lumber and I'm gonna do a sample piece on this. It's always important to do a test cut to make sure you have the right depth for your beading bit. Okay, so here's the uh, first run and I wanted it just to roll over because what I'm anticipating, this will actually be the bottom. So I have just a hair of a lip or reveal right there, which is fine. So this is what it looked like all the way down to where I had my two trial pieces trying to get the right height adjusted. So that's the look that I have. Now that I've done that, I can cut my sample piece of pecan, see how it looks on that. Okay, in doing this, I realized that my actual pattern for my three beads it's about 0.95 inches wide from the top edge of here to the bottom round of that. I realized my two boards I have are different thicknesses. So this one over here is 0.97. So that would work, but my actual tabletop is 0.83. So I'm not going to be able to put three beads on my actual pecan piece, probably only two. But nonetheless, I'm gonna try one side with three beads on it, and then we'll cut the other with two. Lesson number two. If you don't have anything for your <laughs> bearing to rest against, it will cut all the way through your piece, which is what happened here. So now I have to clamp on a piece so I can have my bearing in here so I can have an edge treatment. Ah. Now I clamp a board underneath to give something for the bearing to ride against and I proceed with making the cut with my beading bit. Oh, I think this edge is going to be too fragile. Yep, that's right. So we're going to have to, now this other one edge is fine. It has just a tiny bit of reveal. I kind of like that feature and have that. So we could make that the top with that little tiny reveal. But this big one over here, we'd have to bust off or create some sort of makes for a nice bead here this little lip here i'm going to just shave off with a block plane i like this feature here for that little tiny edge to be on the top when I, this was cut as the bottom so i'll have to remember that setting to where that's right there 
So get out my block plane and a couple of uh, quick swipes with the plane. And gets that edge nice and flat and rounded over. There we go. That's a nice clean edge there. Nice little detail. So it'll be like that with the top of the, there and the three B's. I like this end grain feature, it really does look pretty. Set the saw blade to just cut barely into that last groove right there. Now let's cut it. So I'm taking my wood with the bead cut and I'm going to make a half inch cut into it. Then I'm going to come and cut the beading part off because I only need it to be three eighths of an inch or so. So that's what we're looking for. So let's see how it looks on our board. So if you want to cut a 45 degree angle and you're not quite sure where your blade's going to come in contact with your wood, try this feature or technique. Take your straight edge, put it up against your saw blade, get your permanent marker. And you can see I've done this previously in red. We'll do this one in black. And then you'll know that's going to be your cut line right there for the 45 degree angle. So here is the tabletop with our beading underneath it. So we got this sample set up here. So this would be the edge and I've got the corner cut. I've got these as parallel as I can get with clamping. So I'm trying to decide if I like that versus like the beading cut into the actual edge itself. Now we have two beads cut. We're gonna do this because our actual piece of lumber can only handle two beads. We may also try just one. Okay, so I have the actual top and I cut the two bead, which is more in line with the weight of this since this was a little thinner. So again, this is just clamped on. So that looks nice versus actual cutting two beads into here. It just has a little Unique feature, and I think I'm liking this better. What do you think? Now I'm getting a little more refined look, so the choice this time is to vote between two beads or one bead added. This was one last experiment trial for our bead. I actually replicated the bead into the top of the wood so you had one bead here and one bead there. So now that's enough of our experiment of which one we like for our edge treatment. Give me your input is which one you think I should build in the next video I produce I'll show you my selection that you helped me make as I build the pecan table and make the apron and the legs out of mahogany. So this is Bodie Pendus. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Want to see more of our woodworking videos? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.